kick off this review with the faux leather strap here. And this is not your typical WWE shop faux leather strap. It's not quite as stiff as the older replica belts, such as the version one of the Winged Eagle Championship belt. That strap is just incredibly stiff. This one actually has a little bit of flexibility and it feels much, much better than those older replica belts. Not to mention the croc backing on this title is amazing, but we'll get to that in a little bit. On the right side of the strap, we have a 10 by two male snap box and around the snap box is some tooling and that looks pretty good also. Now we move on to the first side plate and this outer side plate features a WWE block logo in the center. Behind the block logo is nugget texturing. Above and below that logo are two diamonds. They look really good. And then we have a sunburst pattern going above and below the WWE block logo. Surrounding this outer side plate is a rope pattern and that looks good also. And then we move on to the inner side plate and that features a lion holding a shield Inside of that shield is the WWE block logo in blue. Then above and below the lion is another sunburst pattern. And surrounding this inner side plate is another rope design. Both of these side plates look amazing. And then we move on to the center plate. At the top of the center plate we have the WWE block logo in gold. Behind the WWE block logo is a blue background and on each side of this block logo are two more diamonds. Below the WWE block logo we have an eagle and this eagle has its wings spread wide whereas the WWE or WWF winged eagle championship had the wings raised higher up. So the fact that the wings are spread wide on this belt results in a round center plate. Behind the eagle is a sunburst pattern and on the eagle's shoulders is more nugget texturing. You can also see the deep etching in the wings on the eagle. On the left and right side of the eagle are globes and above and below each globe is more diamonds. At the bottom of the eagle is a giant blue and gold globe and that looks really good as well. Below the globe it says World Wrestling Entertainment in black. Then on the left and right side are two phrases. It says Sakulum Champio. I believe that means forever champion or something like that. If I'm incorrect and you know what it means, let me know in the comments below. Below World Wrestling Entertainment is a black banner and it says champion in gold. On the left and right side of that banner are two more diamonds. Then at the bottom and top of the center plate you can see the sunburst pattern protruding out. And then we have sidebars on the left and right side of the center plate as well. You can see the sunburst pattern protruding out there also. Now, you do have to be careful when bending the faux leather strap on this championship belt because the sunburst pattern that protrudes out of the sidebars are very spiky and if you bend this faux leather strap the wrong way, the spikes will dig into your strap. So be careful there. And then on the sidebars are more rope designs and those look really good. The left inner side plate features a lion and he is holding a shield with the McMahon coat of arms. It also features three red lion symbols and a white background. Above the lion is another WWE block logo and the sunburst pattern going above and below the lion. On the left outer side plate we have the WWE block logo again. Sunburst pattern going above and below and two more diamonds above and below the WWE block logo. All five of these inner side plates are surrounded by seashell texturing and the faux leather strap. Beyond the left outer side plate is a property plate and this has the WWE block logo in gold and it says World Heavyweight Champion. WWE 1998. Now the original version actually reads JMAR 1998 instead of WWE 1998 at the bottom. At the end of the left side of the strap we have a 7x2 female snap box and that snap box is also surrounded by the same design that is on the right side snap box. This is the first belt that read World Wrestling Federation since the WWF Big Green Championship. That's just an interesting fact for you guys and then on the back of this belt we have the dark red croc backing and that looks awesome. Not only does it look awesome but it feels awesome too. It's very, very smooth. And then you can see the WWE shop stamp in the center there as well. It comes with a blue cloth belt bag and it reads WWE Blue Big Eagle Replica. Actually feels like velvet. 
It's very, very soft and smooth. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the snap box, see how it fits and feels around the waist, and then I'm gonna compare it with my WWF Figs Inc. Scratch logo, Big Eagle. Before we test out the snap box, let me give you the measurements of the plates and the strap real quick. The outer side plate is 3.75 inches by 4 inches. The inner side plate is 4 inches by 4.75 inches. The center plate is 10.5 by 11 inches. And then the outer champion plate is 2 by 3.25 inches. The strap itself is 57 inches by 11 inches. So this strap is very, very long. Much longer than most of the other WWE shop straps. Now let's go ahead and test out the snap box. Of course I always put this thing on backwards because it's just easier to do it that way when you don't have anyone helping you. Man, this thing is huge. I'm on the third to last snap box here. And man, look at all that extra room right there. Woo! Oh man, it's falling off on me. And I only have a 34 inch waist. So not too big, not too small. Plenty of extra room here on this belt, but it still does fit good if you're not too small. And if you're a little bit of a bigger guy, this will probably be a perfect belt for you. Now, as you saw earlier, the center plate is slightly curved, so it feels really, really comfortable around the stomach area. Not only that, but the soft crock backing on this belt make this very, very comfortable. And the snap box seems to stay snapped together pretty well. I can bend down, move left and right, and it's not coming apart at all. So that's a good sign there. Overall, I mean, this thing fits great. It feels great. You can walk around the house, give your kids a stunner, and feel like the Texas Rattlesnake. Honestly, this might be one of the most, if not the most, comfortable belts that I have ever worn from WWE Shop. Here we have the WWF Scratch logo Big Eagle and the WWE or WWF Big Blue Eagle. And of course, there are a couple of differences here. Obviously, the Scratch logo at the top of this belt here and the WWE block logo at the top of the belt over there. Also, the inner side plate appears to be on opposite ends. The inner side plate here on the right side of the Scratch logo belt is the McMahon coat of arms, whereas on the big blue, it's on the inner left side of the strap. There's also different tooling going on around the leather strap as well. You have the WWF Scratch logo going around the side plates on the WWF Scratch logo version. And of course, on the big blue, it is seashell texturing going all around the plates. There's also a property plate on the WWE Big Blue Eagle. They did make a replica version where it also has the property plate as well. However, the one that I have currently does not have that property plate. Another difference is the length of the strap is much, much longer on the Big Blue Eagle, whereas the WWF Scratch logo version is much shorter. Again, these are replicas. Maybe the official or the real life version of these belts were the same length. Maybe they were shorter. Maybe they were longer. Besides that, there's a few other differences, but again, it's very slight differences. And it could just be because they're replica versions. Obviously, the WWF Scratch logo replica was made a very long time ago. I believe it's from 2001. The materials that they had available at the time were not nearly as good as they are today. The plates on the WWF Scratch logo are only two millimeters thick, whereas the plates on the Big Blue Eagle are at least four millimeters thick, maybe even five millimeters thick. It did do a full review of this WWF Scratch logo belt, so if you want to take a look at that, make sure you check it out on my channel. And then here you can see the winged eagle, and of course there's tons of differences between the winged eagle and these big eagles. Like I mentioned earlier, the wings go up on this winged eagle belt, whereas on the big eagle they spread out a little bit wider thus resulting in the round shape on the center plate. Let me know what your favorite design is out of these three eagle belts. Do you prefer the winged eagle, the big blue eagle, or the WWF Scratch logo big eagle? Let me know in the comments below.
fan of the Attitude Era and or if you're a belt collector, I highly suggest picking this one up. Now I know there's going to be some people that say, well it has the WWE logo on it and not the WWF logo, so I don't want that. But the quality of this championship replica belt is amazing. Not only do the plates look fantastic, but the strap is way better than the older WWE shop belt. Trust me when I say, if you pick this up, you will not be disappointed. This belt retails for $4.50, but WWE shop has sales all the time, so just keep checking it and wait for a sale. I'll post a link to this replica belt in my description. And just keep refreshing it daily or wait for Black Friday. I know they have really good sales then too. If you need replica belt accessories like wall hangers or if you need replacement jewels or custom nameplates for your belts, you can get them at figurestoycompany.com and use discount code JCFigs to save 10% off your orders. If you collect action figures like WWE action figures, McFarlane toys, DC, Marvel, Storm Collectibles, and you shop at entertainmentearth.com, you can use discount code JCFigs to save 10% there as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at JC underscore figs for daily content. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time. Peace.